everyone and welcome back to another video so we are starting a new year um we're yeah just getting into our new year in january here and so i thought i would do um just a little more chatty in the first part of our video for today um so we just got done eating lunch so i'm starting starting this video kind of late in the day because we had kind of a rough night i was up until like 3 a.m with the little guy <laughs> he's been teething and you know all that stuff and he's not been sleeping the best he's getting up in the middle of the night and he just wants to be awake um so yeah i didn't get a lot of sleep last night and normally i don't take a nap in the morning but this morning I did, once he went down for his first nap, I just laid down for a little bit and just kind of um, revived myself a little bit. So that's, sometimes it's kind of um, a need to, yeah, get a little sleep where we can. And um, yeah, even with, you know, teething, baby teething, and yeah, it's kind of a little rough sometimes, but I often have to think of one of these days I'll look back and miss these days. So. Just trying to enjoy the moment and take it one day at a time so he'll get over that soon and yeah we also got to celebrate weston's first birthday can you believe it the year has just flown by um so we just had a fun little family gathering for him his little rainbow cake he had so much fun just absolutely destroying the cake um and yeah, he just dug in and it didn't take him long to make short work of it. We were going to invite a bunch of friends and family, um, but sadly Lamar's grandma passed away the same week and her funeral was the evening before. So with traveling back and forth for that, we decided to just keep it just our family and make a fun night of it here. So I made this cute little rainbow cake for him and then we also just decorated the kitchen up in a little rainbow themed for him. I know he won't remember it, but I'm sure he'll look back on the photos and pictures that we took of him on this night. So here was the end result of the cake after he was done with it. And then we gave him his little birthday gifts, um, this little bike. It's kind of like the mini Strider version uh, for balancing. So he loved that and started uh, riding that one. Weston also started walking right around um, his birthday a little bit before. I tried the hack where you give him two round balls and they walk easier, supposedly. That'll make him walk. He just wanted to eat the oranges, so. And then here is just a sneak peek of the last year that we had with Weston, just some clips of the last year. So do any of y'all have any um, like New Year's resolutions? Is, something, is that something that you do? Um, let me know in the comments something that you are wanting to do this year. Maybe um, something that you started last year and you wanna continue to do this year or something new that you would like to try. Um, a New Year's resolution. Um, I've been thinking about that a lot recently and just things that I want to do to improve um, this year, just to improve um, just my day-to-day -day life, you know, with little children coming on. So I've been thinking about it a lot, you know, like New Year's resolutions and um, mine isn't as much a New Year's resolution as a word that keeps coming back to me, to my mind, as I think about this, is being more intentional. Um, just with everything in in life, um, just being more intentional about things um, with children and just like my channel here, um, just life in general, being more intentional and just focused more um, on the things that matter and that type of thing. So that would be one of the things that I would like to Kind of put a little more effort into this year and on that note just taking care of my body and taking care of myself as a mom uh, we all know uh, mom life is is kind of is hard at times and just taking care of myself so that i can give to my family so one of the things that i would really like to do um pretty directly here is a liver cleanse and that's something that i've don't think I've ever actually done a complete liver cleanse before. So I've been doing some research recently on what all the liver does 
for your body and your health. And it's actually pretty amazing um, the things that it does. So um, the liver is kind of like a an air filter, I guess you would say, that you have like in your home or in your vehicle or whatever. And it basically filters everything that you put in your body. So once that is, if you have a clogged air filter, as we know, like in our home or vehicle, um, it doesn't work properly and it can let some junk and gunk through and which makes problems for our body then, of course. Um, and a few signs of a unhealthy liver are like bloating, um, acid reflux, constipation, heartburn, and if you have a problem with like losing weight and like high blood pressure, if you have like excess, excessive sweating, and like chronic fatigue, those are all signs of a unhealthy liver. Um, so that's one thing that I am wanting to do this, yeah, starting in January. And I thought maybe someone else would have an interest in that as well, doing this with me. It's a 30 day cleanse. It's nothing hard at all. And it's really easy to do, which works really good for me in my stage of life. Um, there's a trusted source that I get from all my supplements and things, and it's where the liver cleanse products are coming from as well. Um, so if there is some interest, um, let me know in the comments, and maybe we could do like a class over on Facebook or something, that way it's not over here on um, YouTube. And just whoever would want to join can join. And if you do join, there will definitely not be any pressure to do a liver cleanse or anything like that. If you want to just go over to listen and um, yeah, that would be fine. Um, so maybe I'll put some information in the description for you so you can um, go over there and we'll maybe do a class and I'll share with you what I've learned um, and maybe we can do this cleanse together. Another thing that I think is really important to um, start in the new year is a planner. This works for me anyways. I think this is a necessity. Um, the one I'm using this year is the Home Planner by the Passionate Penny Pincher, I think. Um, so very detailed and I've just started using it obviously. But um, yeah, I've been really liking it so far and yeah, we'll see how it goes. But it was just in the recent years that I have really started to use a planner and use it like all year long. Um, and it just helps to be able to go somewhere to write some things down. Um, if you want to do just a brain dump, <laughs> write all the things down that you need to get done, um, different things like that. And it really works out good because it has like the monthly layout and then of course your individual weeks and it has a checklist up here uh, if you can see that up here just things that to do every week um, anyways yeah it's really pretty it has a budget on every month as well and it comes with a really nice bookmark that you can take in and out to mark your pages so I'm gonna try this one this year and um, see how I like it so I don't know what all we will get done this afternoon yet um, Weston is down for a nap right now and so I thought maybe I could get a few things done while he's sleeping. It's been super windy outside. We're kind of getting our winter here finally. It's not that cold. I think it's supposed to cool off um, toward the end of the week. So we're going to go ahead and just work in the bathroom here, cleaning off the surfaces and just getting this cleaned up again. Being this is our main bathroom, it's something that I kind of have to stay on top of. Um, yeah, I don't get it done as often as I would like to, but I get the children in here to help me um, and they keep it cleaned up for the most part. And then I'll come in here and kind of do more of a deeper clean uh, when it needs it.
and I was almost done cleaning the bathroom when Weston woke up and after he woke up he still needed some snuggles and some cuddles so we did that got him ready to play And then we went ahead and finished the bathroom, just cleaning the floors, getting them vacuumed, and then mopped. And then moving out into the living room, I haven't really redecorated since I took down all the Christmas decor, so I'm going to go ahead and just get a few things out just to, yeah, kind of get some decorations out again, um, just to make it feel a little more homey. And then my delivery came that I was waiting for. I am so excited for this delivery. Um, I cannot wait to show you what I have planned next in my website for uh, the 40 ounce cups. So we're going to bring in that box and then I'm so excited to get that set up and hopefully test it out and then I can show you what I'm working on. But in the meantime, we're just going to go back and just keep on decorating, getting a few more decor pieces out, hanging up some things on the walls and just getting it looking nice again. And then it was time to pick up Jameson from school. Um, it's always fun to go pick him up, see how his day went. He always comes out with a smile for us. And then this is later on in the evening. Um, it's about Weston's bedtime, but I wanted to give him a nice snack before he heads to bed. He's super excited about this. And I'm gonna go ahead and just give him part of an apple. And then I wanna sit down here beside him and kind of figure out my schedule in my planner, just get some things jotted down, um, things that I need to remember for tomorrow or for next week, whatever it is. Um, so I'm going to do that while he's eating his snack. After the kids were off to bed, I'm going to go downstairs in my office and open our big box. Now, I'm not going to show what it is in this video, so you'll have to stay tuned to see what we got here. So thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!